welcome to the morning slab. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm not in the most like joyous of moods today. If you guys follow me on Facebook, you already know what's going on. Um, you don't know what's going on, but you know why my mood is the way it is today, basically. What I'm here to talk about is like suicide, um, particularly people using suicide as a form of control and abuse to others. Um, suicide is not something um, that people should play with. I don't even really like to talk about uh, anyone taking their life, period. Um, like death isn't something that anyone really wants to experience, but you know, it's a part of just life, period. Um, you should not be threatening to kill yourself to control the situation, to control someone, to doing what you want them to do, um, to stop someone from leaving a relationship if the relationship has done its course. Like, um, for someone to threaten suicide, uh, I, I have a few female friends, about like three of them, that um, every time they go through a hard relationship, they always threaten to kill themselves. Um, not cool, not cool at all. I'm trying my best to like use my words wisely here because I don't want this video to be um, triggering and I might put trigger warning there because um, as you can see how it affects, how it affected my mood. Basically yesterday, a situation that was not even that serious um, and it had something to do with money. This person threatened to kill herself over a financial obligation. And um, this person does this to me all the time. Anytime it comes up to a specific subject, uh, this person is always threatening to hang theirself. Well, I just kill myself. Or I'm just going to hang myself. And I'm fucking tired of that shit. Like, I'm, I'm fucking tired of that shit. But yesterday, I had to call the authorities to go and get this person because I don't want to sit there and on a continuous basis, this person has no problem with just throwing, oh, I'm just going to kill myself. I'm just going to kill myself. And for me to take it as it's a joke, like this person is playing, what the fuck if this person is not playing? That's where mental health comes into play, especially in the black community. And I'm not saying that this is this conversation is censored on the black community because it damn sure isn't. It damn sure isn't. I know many people and it does. Mental health does not have a shape, does not have a color, does not have a gender. And specifically in the black community, I'm saying this because I'm African-American. We act like mental health issues don't happen. Like it doesn't happen to black people. Like, oh, we don't have those type of problems. We, you know, we just run the church and Jesus. And yeah, Jesus can save you from many of things. And you should always, God should always be your first source. That's number one. But baby, if it's, if you're feeling manic, manic depressant like some people really can't handle being in financial crunches i mean shit we've seen the people on wall street when wall street crashed these motherfuckers was jumping out of fucking buildings out of skyscrapers um because they mentally can't handle um financial struggle i thank god every day that i am strong enough in that um I don't just give up regardless of my financial situation because I've been going through a financial crisis for a while now. It has never, and I pray to God that it will never, because it will never cross my mind to want to take my life over a piece of paper with a dead white man on it. I have children to live for, and specifically for these people that have children 
when y'all threaten to want to kill yourself over money, over a relationship, or just because things is not going, do you know how many people that their life is way worse than yours and they're not threatening to kill themselves? If you need to go and talk to someone and seek help about what your body is feeling, because I've had manic moments. So if I, I don't want to kill myself, I just destroy shit. <laughs> this shit is not funny, but I blacks out, like for real. If anyone has ever had a manic depressant feeling where it's just like your whole body, everything is going haywire. Like, I've been there. I've experienced it. I'm just glad that I don't get low. And some people really do have mental health. They have depression, like real serious depression issues where they need medicine or they need a counselor or something. But if you too ashamed to address the fact that, look, sometimes I don't have good thoughts. It's okay. Do you understand? It's okay to seek help. There are other people that are just like you, talk like you, walk like you, has the same skin color. If you think you're the only black person or the only Chinese person or the only white person or the only Hispanic person that has had a manic depressive moment where your thoughts went a little bit to the left, if you think that you're alone, you're not. A lot of people, a lot of people out there that can really help you and they can relate to what you're experiencing. Um, because when you got a lot of pressure on you, sometimes you just can't think in a rational mind. But specifically for the people that have children, like you got something to live for. Have you ever really thought if you was to kill yourself, how that would affect your children? How that would affect the mother or the father of your children? You know, it's just like, I don't know. I really feel like that's selfish. And um, like I, I, really, I really just don't know what to say. But I had to call the police to have them go to this person's location and to put them on suicide watch. Now, I don't know what happened once the police got over there. But um, I did check on this person this morning to make sure that they were okay. Apparently, they didn't take them to St. Elizabeth, so they must have left them there. Uh, me, personally, I feel like they should have took the motherfucker to St. Elizabeth to put them on a psyche route. Because I just don't understand. And the situation that we're talking about is not that serious. It's a situation that this person has a control over. And honestly, like, they created... They created the situation itself. So it's like you have to be of rational, sane, sound in mind and realize that things that you do, they have consequences, have it be good or bad. So if you do something to put yourself in a fucked up predicament where you're going to have to pay on the back end, don't threaten to kill yourself to try to manipulate people to do things. You know, that that's, that's fucking abuse. That, that's abuse. Like, Oh, if you don't give me this money so I can do this and that, I'm going to kill myself. Like, that's that's abuse. That's control. That's manipulation. I know people that they've wanted to leave abusive relationships and were scared to do it because the person that they was dating was pulling knives out, you know, like acting like they were going to harm themselves. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, well, look. It's like you cannot keep yourself trapped in an unhealthy, abusive situation because someone is using the threat of suicide as a control mechanism to make you not go anywhere and to keep you trapped. I Like, that shit is so fucking evil. Like, I literally... If you ever talk to a person that is scared to get away from a toxic person because... They be pulling out knives and be doing, swallowing pills and, and 
like have actually tried to commit suicide like a few times and shit and they don't want to leave this person because it's like they don't know what they would do if this person actually did kill themselves and like they for some reason these people use the word suicide to make other people feel responsible for their life and them being here on this earth and these people will really not leave in a state and be abused and mistreated by this person that really needs to seek mental help because this person has tried to kill herself like multiple times like so like none of that shit is healthy it's not healthy for the person that is threatening to kill herself they need to get help but you don't know what type of emotional and mental and sometimes physical abuse that the person on the receiving end of these suicide threats, you don't know how that shit is triggering them. You don't know what that's doing to them on the inside. Like, and then to make them feel like if they kill themselves, that they are responsible. Like, it's your fault that I killed myself. You know how wicked that is? I just feel like um, these conversations need to be had because I just, like, I'm sorry. I just don't even know what to say right now, y'all. Like, I'm serious. Like, you don't have to tolerate that shit. If someone's threatening to kill themselves, call the police. Have them committed. Like, that's what I feel. They need to, especially for the people that and then there's real people that really have issues with thoughts of suicide and stuff. And for the people that are just playing around and just using the word suicide just to control someone, that's abuse. And maybe you do need to go and sit in a St. Elizabeth, like a real psych ward and be on like psychiatric evaluation and have have you put on suicide watch. Well, if you are playing saying shit like that and you really don't mean it and you're really not having those thoughts and you're just doing it to control and abuse someone else. Maybe you do need to sit in a facility for a minute to see that that shit is serious and you shouldn't be fucking playing around like that. Like, that shit is not cool. And I'm to the point going forward, every time that this motherfucker even utters the word, I'm gonna kill myself, something suicidal, I'm, I'm gonna start calling the boys on this motherfucker. I'm not playing like you're not going to make me feel you, you're not going to do that to me. You're absolutely not. And I put up with it and I put up with it and I've had a fuck enough. I have my own situations that I'm dealing with over here that are far vast, more strenuous than what this person is going through. If you don't see me crying, if you don't see me in here talking about I'm going to slit my wrist and I'm going to kill myself. And take myself away from my fucking children? Do you know what type of fucking emotional abuse and trauma that will put on this person's child, on their children? If they, like, don't even give a fuck, like, how that shit will affect your children. Like, oh, my, my mother or my father committed suicide over some money? Or over a breakup? Over a job? Like, What? How does a young child process? And we're talking about elementary school kids here. They're old enough to know what's going on. They're old enough to process shit. Why the fuck would you even be throwing out words like that around your children so that they can hear you say shit like this? I just like, I've had friends that do this and like these bitches are not suicidal. They just mad because they don't want some nigga to leave them. That's abuse and that's control. If the nigga don't want to be with you, he don't want to be with you. Don't be, well, I'd just rather die. I don't want to be here no more. I'd just rather fucking die. Like y'all watch saying that fucking shit. That is like a petition to the universe that you want your life to be ended. Like, I 
I keep trying to tell people to use your fucking tools wisely. Your mouth is a tool. Your thoughts is a tool. It creates. It creates. If you feel like your thoughts in, on a serious level, like you're having unsafe thoughts, go seek help. It's nothing wrong with seeking help and finding. If you need to take some medicine, my nigga, take some medicine. Rather you take some antidepressant pills. And I know that they say that shit fuck with your libido. And Man, if you sitting over there thinking about killing yourself, the last thing you're thinking about is some fucking dick or some pussy. Who gives a shit about fucking sex? Who, get, who gives a shit about your libido? We want you here. Don't fucking, there are people out here with real fucking mental health issues that when people be playing around, just be saying, oh, I'm just going to kill myself. I'm just going to kill myself. And they're playing around. That shit is an emotional trigger for people that really, really fucking have issues and that have come a long way and have worked on it. So to fight against shit like that and y'all motherfuckers be sitting around playing around with shit like that. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Like on some real ass shit. To be that narcissistic because something is not going your way or someone don't want to be with you no more. You will kill yourself and take yourself from your family and your kids. How the fuck would your mother feel? Why? Because you ain't want to pay child support? You threaten to kill yourself because you don't want to pay child support to take care of your fucking kids? You threatening to kill yourself when someone don't love you no more? You threatening to kill yourself because you don't want someone to fire you from a job or, or you lost your job? You know how many motherfuckers have lost their jobs? Y'all, so listen, I just, I just, I fucking can't, you know, oh my God. I can't. Ain't even fucking keep having this conversation too long. Um, I want y'all to take care of yourself. Um, if the first thing that you can do is to go to church, go to church and go talk to the people at the church house and see if they can help you find some suicide prevention um, counseling or something like that. If y'all need to go, if you need to go and call fucking 911 so that they can go get someone and take them to their to your local psych ward and put their ass on suicide watch don't feel no way about that shit do it because like i said if they playing around and they just using that shit as a control of abuse and shit like that and control if they sitting there with some real crazy ass motherfuckers on some real motherfucking psych evaluation for like 72 hours they will not do that shit again. They will not just throw that word out all candidly like that. And we cannot continue to keep acting like people that keep throwing that shit out there. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to commit suicide. Stop thinking that motherfuckers is playing. That shit is not a joke. That shit is extremely serious. And, like, I am, like, emotionally zapped, y'all. Like, I'm zapped. So, I'm going to take, like, maybe a day or two off. Because that shit, I'm, like, I'm really disturbed right now that I even had to do that. And, like, I told this person, you keep threatening to fucking kill yourself. You think I'm going to keep letting you say that shit to me and I'm not going to do nothing about it? Like, I know you probably think I'm being mean or petty calling the police. Like, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to have that on my heart that you keep threatening to kill yourself over some fucking child support. The f you, you, you don't. <sighs> Y'all. Y'all don't understand. What that shit do to other people. Like, 
Like that's some evil ass shit. It's evil. And that shit ain't cool. It's not cool. There are people that really, really, really have issues and that really, really, really battle with that shit. And motherfuckers sitting up there playing around. I don't know if the motherfucker was really playing around or not. But I wasn't. I'm I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. Okay? I've been dealing with this shit for years with this particular motherfucker. Not only this person, but like I said, I have about three different women that I know of that I think about two of them I don't even fuck with no more. Every time I turn around, they threaten to kill themselves over some nigga that they will not leave alone. Why you keep going back to him? If why why you keep staying in these relate? Why you keep entertaining this shit? If this person is mistreating you and using you and cheating you like that, why you keep going back to him? Y'all break up. Y'all get back together. Y'all break up and get together. And every time. Shit don't work out. You be threatening. You you swallow my pills and like I I can't, bro. I I cannot, y'all. So I'm gonna get off of this shit. If it's anybody that you know, they threatening to kill themselves. Like I said, call the police. Had them sent to call the police. Have them come pick them up and send them somewhere so they can sit down. And get some real help and get evaluated. That's it. I'm gone.